Hi everyone, it's Fair Soul Jules here, and today I'll be showing you guys a tutorial on how to make these little cakes out of Daiso paper clay. And these are some examples of some that I've made before. These cakes are made entirely out of Daiso paper clay. This is what Daiso paper clay looks like. It's also called soft clay, and it comes in many different colors, but this is the main one I buy, and this is the one I'll be using in this tutorial. You're going to need Daiso paper clay or any other um, air dry clay. Bright Pink by Craftsmart. This color of paint is Yellow Ochre, and I got this from Daiso, but you can also get um, a bigger tube just like this by Americana Cookie Cutters. Now these are some ones that I bought in Japantown, but you can also use your own that you have at home. You're also going to need Deco Whipped Cream, and this is my homemade Deco Whipped Cream. If you're interested, you can watch the video. I have a tutorial on how to make this. You're going to need a fine tip nail dotting tool. Or you can use a needle. You can also use toothpicks. To make the cake color, take your paper clay and take your yellow ochre paint, make a little indentation, and add the paint a little at a time, not too much, and mix. Now that you have your cake color paper clay, flatten it out a little bit. I'm just going to use my nail dotting tool. So after you roll out your paper clay, use your cookie cutter to cut out two pieces. And here's my second one. Now at this point, you don't really need to texture it since uh, paper clay does something unique when it's cut. And it is kind of like texturing itself when you cut into it. Just set these aside, let them dry. Take away a piece of paper clay and flatten it out just like before. And roll it out again to around the same thickness as your cake. Take your same cookie cutter and push down. Take that same piece of clay. Flatten it out again, and this time roll it out to the thickness of a quarter. Take some of that leftover clay, and now you're going to color it to make strawberries. So take some of your bright pink paint and color it. And mix the colors a little bit at a time until you reach the desired color. Tear a little bit off. Make your clay into a circle and slowly pinch one side, not too hard. Take a toothpick and push it into the bottom of the strawberry. Make sure it's straight. Take your nail dotting tool and start at the bottom. leave it to dry and I usually take a piece of Palmer clay and I stick a needle through it so I have another one drying right here. Now it's time to assemble your cake and I like to use um, crazy glue to so line them up to see if they fit. So take your super glue so I'm going to dab the corner of it with the super glue. I'll take the icing layer and Put it directly on top. You have to work really fast since super glue bombs almost immediately. I'll repeat. Now I am going to add my deco whipped cream so I can add my decoration on top. I start from an edge, I pipe. Then I go in a circle, which ends back in the middle. Then I take my strawberry, and I center it, and I push it down. And this is what this looks like. And also, you can pipe deco whipped cream in the center, and you could uh, put the cake layers on top. And just to show you guys again how I do it, start from an edge, pipe in a circle, then end right in the middle. So it looks kind of like that. So leave your cake to dry for about two days. I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I really hope you guys try it out. Stay crafty, stay awesome, and thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!